Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo Tech, and it has been a long time since I've actually covered a case or accessories other than those available directly from Apple. And so Nomad was nice enough to send this along. This is not a sponsored video, but they were nice enough to send this. And so I thought we'd take a look at the all new iPad Pro rugged folio case. And this is a case that's similar to what Apple has, but this is made out of genuine leather. It's available for the 12.9 inch iPad Pro as well as the 11 inch. And it will work with not only the fourth generation iPad Pro, but the third generation as well. So you'll see it says magnetic folio, protective TPU bumper, and quality since 1905. It's made out of Horween leather. It's available in brown and black, and this is the brown variant, and it will work really well over time because it changes color with age. So it kind of gets a patina on it, it's really nice, and it has a great smell to it. If you were in this room, you could smell it, but it has a great smell. Now, of course, if you don't like leather products, this wouldn't be for you. And you'll see this is just a little insert that comes with it, and it looks like that's it. It is fairly heavy though, so let me set these aside. Now, typically I do use a case on my iPad Pro. I usually use a Magic Keyboard because I like to use the keyboard with it, but sometimes I don't always want to use the keyboard. I want to make it a little bit more portable, but also keep it protected and prop it up a little bit differently. So this is a TPU case lined with microfiber, and it's got sort of this flexible edge that will pr protect it if you drop it, for example, and then it's just leather on the outside. Now, apparently this has a ton of magnets in it. So let's take a closer look at those. I have some magnet paper here and let's see what we've got. So I think the magnets are right here. You'll see some of them here. So we've got magnets all down the side over here as well. And this will allow it to sleep and wake while you're using the device. So we've got magnets all over the place and it's compatible with the Apple Pencil as well. Let me flip this over put the iPad in place. Now I would highly recommend a case for your iPad Pro because, well, some people have found they're prone to actually bending. And so let me snap this into place here. I don't want to push on it too hard. So we'll snap this into place. It does feel like you have to give it a good amount of pressure to get it into place, but that's okay. It's snug and it won't fall out. So it has a little bit of a lip on the outside. So it does have a little bit of protection there if you were to lay it flat. And then on the back, it folds around just like the iPad folio case. So it folds around like that. You've got cutouts for your speaker, your USB-C port, as well as the other speaker. And the same is true on the other side. So if we close this now on this side, you've got two cutouts for your microphones and again, your speakers, and then your power sleep wake button. Now on the back, you've got the opening for the camera, of course, and nothing else. So it feels really good. And then on this side, of course, you've got your volume buttons and then an opening for your Apple Pencil. So your Apple Pencil will fit on it just like that and work really well. Let's open it up. It should turn on as soon as we open it. And then it should shut off when we close it. And it does, and it works just like the Apple case does. Now, this is a fairly expensive case at about $170. So it's genuine leather made in the United States. And I think that's the reason for the cost. It will get a patina, like I said, after a year of use. You can see this is what Nomads looks like. And so it's a really nice case, but it is not inexpensive, like I said. However, if you're protecting a $1,200 device and you want a nice case that's not the same as everyone else's with Apple, well, now you've got this one. So it sets up really nice like this. It feels very sturdy and it's at a good viewing angle. You don't have multiple viewing angles, but it is a good viewing angle to hold it in place like this. Now let's take a look at this cable and their cables are usually pretty nice. And one thing I really like about Nomad is their packaging. Other than Apple, they do some really nice packaging. Everything is magnetic. So there's a magnet here. There's also a magnet inside here. So when you open this up, this is magnetic. So you don't see this many other places. So for example, that magnet paper again, you'll see there's a magnet here and here. And again, on the side, there's magnets as well to hold it shut. So they're putting magnets in a little bit of everything. And this is a two meter cable that's about $35 or so. It is available in a shorter length, but it's available for I think 1.5 and three meters and it's USB-C to USB-C. So you can use it for charging data transfer and charging up to a hundred Watts. So it should handle that without a problem. And as you can see, it says built with Kevlar. So it's not something you see every day, but it's rugged Kevlar central core, 20 aug for fast charging, 
thick RF shield for fast sync. So there's no interference. I never really had issues with my cables with that, but apparently this will help with that. And then a Kevlar outer braid. So it should be really nice. It does have this nice braid on it and it should be more durable than what you get with an Apple cable. Unless of course they switch to a braided cable, but I doubt they use Kevlar. So you have USB-C to USB-C for charging and the price for two meters is pretty reasonable for a high quality cable. If you haven't checked out Nomad products before, be sure to check them out. I'll leave a link to them in the description below. Again, I'm using their watch band as well. This is titanium. They're not inexpensive, but they're very high quality products that age well over time. So I've been using this watch band for quite some time. It does have some wear on it, as you can see there, but it holds up extremely well. So I like quality products and again, I'll link them in the description below. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll link it in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.